Hello everyone, I am Ms. Povini Salvi, Head Department of Nutrition Dietetics. Now I am going to explain about the compounds present in food, functions, importance, food groups and how nutrients interaction with drug, compounds etc. under the subject of food science. A small introduction about food science. Food is a mixture of many different chemical compounds and it's to be studied to food science involves understanding when all the changes occur in chemical compounds during handling, preparing environmental changes, horticultures like environmental changes means cold, hot, air, etc. Finally, the food science includes to study of nutritive value of different food and food materials also. In addition to this, we have to know separately and we are going to learn about this, the details and as appropriate for each and food groups based on which food additives, fermented food, food technology, food fortification, bio fortification, food chemistry, non-nutrients of foods, functional foods, phytochemicals, food safety and regulations, etc. Food. Civilized man does not eat all the food as it is available in nature. He cuts, crushes, cooks, processes and modifies in many ways before consuming and adding variety of diet. It is defined as anything solid or liquid which when swallowed, digested and assignedly nourished to the body. Next, I will move on functions of food. So, foods are classified according to the functions, especially the parts and organs present in the body. Energy, first one is energy yielding. So, this is high in carbohydrate, fat and protein. 1 gram of carbohydrate gives 4 kg of calorie and 1 gram of protein gives 4, 4 kg gram of calorie and 1 gram of fat gives 9 kg of calorie. And next one is body building. So food rich in protein. So protein have all essential amino acids in correct proportion for the systemic and for the body tissues. And next one is protection and regulation. Food high in protein, vitamin, minerals and all the nutrients have regulating the functions of body and to maintain all individual organs works and to for example heartbeat, water balance and body temperature maintaining etc. And next one is maintenance of good health. Food contains all the phytochemicals, antibiotics which helps in preventing degenerative disease and plays an important role preventing like heart disease, cancer, diabetes mellitus and so many diseases etc. Next one is uh, food groups. So we will look up like about the food groups I show in the slide. It's classified into different food groups depending upon the nutritive value divided as a food groups. So food groups it should be must balance diet. Food should be chosen from each food groups in sufficient quantity like cereals and pulses should be taken adequately fruits and vegetables liberally, animal foods moderately and oils and sugars sparingly. This is how we can should all the food groups take every day. So next one is food promid also same like uh, food groups. It's based on food groups. It's suggested by ICMR food groups promid. It is mean for use by the general healthy population it is taken an amount or types of food to be included in the digested in everyday diet these food permit are divided separately like 4 5 and 7 by icmr uh, generate suggested according to the health and the society needs 
so uh, i'm conclude that we are going to study and each and every units in this group of separately i for any more details and queries please uh, reach out thank you